Hello everybody, so today I'm going to make my niece some homemade Play-Doh. I made it for her one other time and I'm making it again because her other dough is all dried out and we tossed it. So. so you are going to need one cup of water, one cup of flour, half cup of salt, any food coloring, Hi. instead of... Hi Kylie. Instead of instead of one teaspoon of cream of tartar, I'm using lemon juice. So you'll need one tablespoon of that, and you will need one tablespoon of any oil of your choice. In this case, it is olive oil. So you're going to throw that all into your pan and stir it all up. So I'll show you what that looks like. So you're going to put all your ingredients into a pan and then you are going to stir it up like so. It's hard to do with one hand. And what you're trying to do is get it to where it's like not so liquidy. Where it's kind of like a dough form. You could put your food coloring as you are stirring everything up, but you don't have to. You could then divide it, divide the dough up and then use different colors for each square or circle. Okay, so I had my dough and I cut it into kind of four equal balls. And as you can tell, I already did three. So with the fourth one, I'm going to take green, stick it in kind of like a little well, do that a few times. And what you're gonna wanna do is kind of just fold it over and fold it over again. You're going to want to keep folding it over and work it through until you get the color that you want. Hold on. And then you're going to eventually have a color in, see? So you're going to so you're going to want to work it through and then as you can tell it's the colors coming through on this side. But um, you can add more dye if you want kind of a deeper color. It all depends on your preference. So I'm going to work through that and I'm going to show you all of them that are finished. And hold on Kylie. And while I was doing that, somebody has made a mess on the floor with a flower that she was playing with outside. So, so this is the dough that is all finished and they have their color. So then I'm going to take them and put them into a container. Give me the container, Kylie. So you are going to want to put them in a kind of resealable container or bag. In this case, I'm using, it's for food, but we don't use it for food. It's, oh, hold on, Kylie. It's um, like a storage container, and I put her dough in it just so it's easy access when she has all four in one um, container. And that is how you make homemade Play-Doh. So thanks for watching. Bye.